Class nine, as you know that yesterday through the previous two lectures, we were revising the poem "No Men Are Foreign." Okay, so for this poem, uh, as I told you that the concept was that of uh, universal brotherhood, that we should policy, we should follow the policy of universal brotherhood. Otherwise, this by not doing this, what is happening? We are ultimately causing harm to our mother earth. We are ultimately causing harm to our planet earth. and it is only we we are uh, it is only we who we are condemning ourselves we are betraying ourselves and ultimately we are one of the reason for causing harm to ourselves only so coming up to revision of poetic devices but before that uh, who will explain about poetic devices used yes who will explain yes just raise up your hands who will explain that what are the various poetic devices used here Yes, yes, Ramnik, you are unmuted, and Diya, yes, speak, so that we can. Yes, ma'am. Alliter yes. Alliteration, metaphor, yes, so transfer. First of all, alliteration is used. Where alliteration was used, speak out. Body breathes. Yes. Body breathes, B B. Body breathes, right? Body breathes. This is the example of alliteration here. This sound predominates. Then. Transfer yes. epithet is used. Yes, of course. Transfer epithet is used. Transfer epithet. Peaceful harvest. It is yes. What it is? Uh, peaceful harvests and winter, peaceful harvest winter and long winter start. Peaceful harvest and long winter start. Then, then where is metaphor? Jabment is also. Huh. Enjambment, yes. Enjambment is also used. Let me just note down when the idea of one line it is carried forward to the next line without you can say uh, without you can say putting any punctuation marks at the end. Then it is called as enjambment. For example, it is in their hands. Okay, we read. So this idea, this line, or the idea of this line, it is carried forward to the next line. Okay. so they have their they in, in their hands the lines we see the labor they had okay put okay so again what is this this is a force the carrying forward of the same line to the next one without any punctuation mark so when it is without any punctuation mark then of course it is an example of what this is of course an example of uh, enjambment okay so then refrain then, is also used which one refrain yes refrain refrain is used in the last line in the starting also where this line is repeated that no men are foreign and no men are strange why this is called as refrain this line is called as refrain because this line is encapsulating the main idea of the poem and it is just because of this reason it is being repeated and it is delivering the main message of the poem so this is the reason why it is called as refrain okay so any other poetic device left ma'am metaphor for hells of fire yes metaphor of, of course okay so where metaphor is used metaphor is also used when when the poet is explaining hells of fire okay so this is of course an example of metaphor because here the poet is explaining the kind of destruction he is you can say actually uh, intensifying the threat of uh, fire means fire means here destruction which has been caused or which is caused just because of wars and it is just because of this reason that he is bringing into light the destruction that is caused by fire okay fine ashmit is it clear beta is it clear okay fine right so next some of the extra questions i think that we should revise for this so the first question is what should we remember about men according to this poem what we should remember about men just raise up your hand yes just raise up your hands yes i am unmuting lavina also okay panika also yes give the answers we must uh, we, remember about men that we are all the same 
no men are strange or foreign no men are strange no men are foreign we, have same we must not forget the fact that we people are same and it is only although who have created those different although we wear different uniforms to represent our belongingness from different countries but that doesn't change our basic structures of body okay right so what does the poet say according to the poem according to the poem where we all shall lie in the end where we all shall lie in the end uh, in the end we all lie in the earth okay in the earth from where we have first once we will be a part of that earth only so next is what is the meaning of peaceful harvest what is the meaning of peaceful harvest Yes, it is used as a transport. Yes, yes, speak. Yes, it is used as transport epithet. It it is used uh, to uh, define that wars are always bringing uh, mm -hmm. uh, starvation and uh, whereas if there if there is there are peaceful conditions, people are able to fulfill their needs and live a prosperous life. It means that during the peace, that we are able to reap good harvest. and we are able to grow crops and every one is you can say peacefully fed without any shortage okay and what is the meaning of wars long winter starved lavina will explain what is the meaning of long winter starved what is the meaning of long winter starved yes lavina you can speak Yes, ma'am. It means that people are starved during wars, and the poet also compares it to long winter. That those teams are likely to go on short. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes,
the role played by uniforms it means that the poet is trying to convey um, the poet is trying to convey to us that the differences among the people that whatever the differences are there among the people okay in different countries they are just superficial they are not at all deep seated okay and all you all human beings they are same okay uniforms are of course different or uh, uniforms are different in appearance but actually what is there under these uniforms there is a single body that breathes okay next next question is what does according to the poem we consider as our brothers and why whom we should consider our brothers and why whom we should consider our brothers yes um, lavlina can you speak i have unmuted you lavlina yes ma'am yes please hmm we are brothers because we inhabit the same planet drink the same water and breathe the, in the same air but we feel different and behave like enemies at at some times the poet wants us to give up our misplaced patriotism and live in universal brotherhood everyone shares the same bounties of nature and we should treat everyone belonging from different countries as our brothers yes okay so finally what the poet wants to deliver here is that the poet says when he is saying we should love our brothers or we are brothers then it means that he is referring to people of other countries and we should consider them as our brothers why he is saying so because he according to him the superficial differences okay i said the differences which are superficial which are not at all deep seated because under uniforms also what is there is oneness so according to poet uh, according to poet these differences they are of course superficial in nature whatever the differences are on the basis of complexion on the basis of color on the basis of you can say language dress and culture or nationality okay they these differences they are just trying to segregate ourselves but the thing is that the poet is saying we should not we should never try to segregate ourselves but actually we are one okay and human beings human wants human needs human desires they all are same okay and ultimately human emotions are also same so in the light of all these similarities he is saying that we actually are our brothers we are all brothers to each other and we should not fight okay clear so next is how according to first stanza the poet speaks that we all are same how according to first stanza the poet speaks that we all are same panika will give the answer yes panika yes ma'am the poet says that nobody is different or strange we all are same as beneath all the uniforms a single body exist yeah and all of us die in the same earth when we die we all walk upon the same land we all have same air water and sun hmm. in this way poet says that we all uh, people of the earth are same and he says that we all are the earthians and are not strange from each other it is just our mindset which makes us different from each other so here the poet has also talked about earth let me add on this point so in the first stanza what the poet suggests the poet is suggesting us that we all are same we are not strange of each other we are not at all different from each other and for this reason what he is saying that beneath means that uniform although it is trying to create differences but these differences they are just superficial okay you, and because under the same uniform there is single body that breathes it means that under that uniform all the bodies are same there is not any kind of differences that prevails or that reigns under these uniforms and moreover the poet is also saying that we all have similar heart similar soul similar want similar desires we are not at all different from each other okay and the earth on which we are walking on which we are living it's of course our common asset okay we are not different from each other and it is just because of this reason that we one day one we all shall be part of this earth and ultimately when we die and we will be buried in the same way although the rituals and customs they differ right so this is what uh, according to first stanza okay 
so when what is the meaning of in which we all shall lie in which we all shall lie yes ramni in which we all shall lie what is the meaning of this yes ramni you can speak will you be able yes ma'am yes ma'am yes uh, the poet means to say in these lines that it is the same land on which we walk and after our death would be buried in the same earth through earth? this line the poet tell us that we do our all our activities on the same land ah. and we are not different with the other uh, other people of other countries yes. so what it means it means that we all shall lie under the same earth here the poet want to deliver us this fact that we one day we all will be a part of this earth we all will be buried under this earth after that death it means that they means this is our fate and ultimately we have this is our end and which we all will fall prey to that end okay and ultimately so poet is saying there is no point of hating each other okay he wanted actually wanted to deliver this to earth okay clear now okay so now tell me that why the harvests are called as peaceful and war as winter why the harvests they are called as peaceful and wars as winter now speak for this because the more you speak the more content you have the more you will be able to explain your answers i want that you should have content for each and every answer yes why the harvests are called as peaceful yes lovelina can you be able yes ma'am yes ma'am yes yes, yes. yes. harvests are called peaceful because they bring abundance and prosperity and they thrive in peaceful times only on mm -hmm. the other side war is like the severe and harsh winter that ruins the crops and starves people for a long time so ultimately why these harvests they are called as peaceful it is just because of this reason that these harvests they always bring prosperity to the life of people there is a lot of you can say people will they will be rich harvest everyone go gets uh, plentiful to eat and there is you can say uh, prosperity and there is happiness that is that it delivers okay but during winter what kind of conditions scarcity death destruction it prevails okay people they are starving all the time okay so ultimately peaceful means to be uh, to be in harmony with life to be you can say quite peaceful at times but winter as the winter landscape what it explains it explains that is scarcity of everything when there is shortage of everything okay so that these two things they are of course you can say uh, they are uh, they both are representing quite opposite nature to each other okay right so what are the various examples which are being explained by the poet in this you can say poem in which he shows the similarity between us so what are the various examples he has given yes mm, uh, now panika where she has gone arshpreet can you explain yes what are the various examples he has given the poet says that the uniforms worn by people in different parts of the world may be different Hmm. The that one box upon is the same for all the people. All all will one day or the other day uh, will return to the earth only. People in every part get the sunshine, air, and water in even years. They too prosper during peace, but have suffered poverty and hung and hunger during wars. they also do the same jobs to earn their livelihood like we do mm -hmm. they also they are, they are also built just like us and sleep or wake up in a manner similar to ours mm -hmm. they too can be won over by love thus human life is the same in every part of the world so so many examples they are being given here like we are similar from uniforms from the uh, you can say bounties of nature that we are enjoying the same type of earth that we walk upon the same kind of labor that we people are doing and ultimately he has given a lot of examples so the thing is that you will just jot down all those examples in one point here in this answer okay so when now the question is whenever we are told to hate our brothers so why do you think 
that why who are telling this to us and why they are telling this to us now ramni eva was also raising up the hands so let me ask eva yes eva yes ma'am uh, we are told to hate our brothers and sisters during the fights and the wars this is told by the selfish people for their uh, for their uh, selfish motives for their own happiness and benefits they do such wrong things instead of fighting and instead of fighting they should give us lesson uh, of unity and make this earth a better place to live okay so ultimately so what the poet is saying boy poet is saying that these are uh, politicians okay selfish politicians or the leaders religious leaders who are provoking us to fight our brothers and sisters and why they are doing so they are doing so for our selfish motive for their selfish interest they are trying to do this and what is the result of this kind of provoking what is the result of this kind of provoking yes ashmit nagpal can speak what is the result of this kind of provoking ashmit uh, whenever there is a war leaders tell people to hate the other country sometimes some selfish people instigate the innocent to harm others uh, mm -hmm. they tell us to do so because of their personal gains selfish motives and interests they tell to hate our people to rise in power to divide and rule they tell them to cause riots but we should not act as a uh, puppet in their hands and do as they say the poet repeatedly says that there is no difference between people of our country and other country the people uh, of uh, both the countries are same and we should be alike so now right you are saying that we should not do that but what is the result of this provoking what happens yes ramni what happened what is the result of this provoking by the religious leaders or yes. let's say by those politicians yes yes ma'am if we do so it would result in our own dis, uh, dispossession betrayal and condemnation mm -hmm. yes it and you would also uh, uh, this production get, of health of fire yes yes you can carry on we will also harm the mother earth hmm we are ultimately defiling our mother earth defiling means causing harm to our mother earth okay so ultimately health of fire death destruction all this happens okay there is exploitation there is poverty and there is starvation because of wars all these negative qualities all these negative things they prevail over the earth and ultimately it is what that is happening because of this kind of provoking and we should never fall a prey to these kind of provokings and we must take care we must take our decisions on and we should not at all forget that we all are same okay so now the poet is also saying in one of the lines that how can we win others how can we win others dia how can we win others we can win others uh, through our love uh, because in every land the life is common common people know each other's uh, each other's pain and sufferings and can empathize with each other uh, we have the same similar we have similar structure uh, uh, similar emotions when there is uh, peace and war therefore we understand each other better than anyone else and we should never harm each other for it is ourselves whom we will condemn so ultimately means the thing is that that we can live uh, we can win others by love only because it is only the language of love that world understands because if we speak harsh to others the answer will of course will be in the same echo that is harshness but if we will speak in love the same kind of words they will reverberate back and we will get these words back and ultimately it is only by the strength of love that we will be able to win this world okay so ultimately in spite of fighting we should love each other so if i talk about the central idea of the poem ultimately what is the central idea of the poem what is the main thing the poet wants to deliver here is that that we should follow the policy of universal brotherhood we should believe in harmony we should believe completely in living uh, uh, in the in life of togetherness where we should not be separated from each other stay binded stay united not be separate from others and keep ourselves you can say busy in the constructive efforts of the earth rather than defiling causing harm or any damage to the earth we should not follow blindly any religious leader or any kind of politician we should come out of you you can say our prejudices the kind of prejudices we have weaved in our minds and ultimately 
we should never you can say discriminate on the basis of nationality we should come out of narrow mindedness of nationalism okay and these kind of you can say the reasons or the the reasons or you can say the ways we discriminate on the basis of you can say caste color creed they are of course baseless there is nothing you can say hidden in these okay so ultimately what is this that we need to enjoy our life so of course this is through this poem the poet is delivering us the lesson of peace okay he is telling us to be against wars okay we should not be uh, we should not you can say flow ourselves in this you can say Mm, in this, you can say flow of differences, but ultimately we should rise above these kind of differences in order to make this earth, of course, a planet to live, right? So this is all about this, you can say, point that we have to do because so many, I think there are innumerable questions if we can discuss, okay? Because this poem is really so deep that we can have a lot of discussion there. But now, as the time is not permitting us, now this is all for today and next we will continue further, okay? So now let me take your attendance.